real. Two fucking guys, man. Let's get it. This is Simple with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rube. I'm at Trap Back Tuesdays, man. Salute to PNB Shiz and my guy Jaime for it, man. But I'm in here right now with the guy. Shout, shout, shout out your name to my Yeah, people. man, it's the kid Joey DeVille. Shout out to everybody out the Badlands in North Philly. You know, we out here rocking independent music. Absolutely, man. Salute to you, man. I'm going to tell y'all something about Joey DeVille, man. He was here early. Well, he was here on time. Probably early. However you want to call early it. Early as shit. Let's talk about it. I we was, was here at 4.30. We was walking in trying to set up and such, and he said, yo, I want to introduce myself to you, and I want to know if you guys needed any help. I'm here to help. I just want to um, facilitate, and I said, yo, I appreciate that. So yeah. I definitely wanted to tell my crowd that you a dope individual, man. Nah, that's, nah. That's, 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 that's awesome. First of all, I appreciate you for shouting that out, but that's not even nothing that you do for Cloud. Like, if, if I could mm -mm, just drop a mm -mm. drool on the audience, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. like, the biggest thing that anybody can do as a human being not even as a creative as a rapper as an entrepreneur as a human being right. is add value to the people around you mm -hmm. whether you believe in god you believe in the universe whatever it is there's blessings that come with just being a good fucking person a lot of people are out here trying to be a piece of shit it's not the wave it's 2020 yeah. let's be fucking thorough let's help out somebody if you see somebody they got some bags i saw i saw my guy out here he had his bags he about to do his podcast let's get the content working that's all i'm thinking about yeah and i mean i treat life like a sport so i look at it like you always want to be a good teammate you know they always ask well how is he in the locker room when it come down to how much money you're going to get paid and how you going how how successful how long you're going to survive in the game yeah and i think that if people would just be better teammates to each other no matter if you know each other or not yeah. the world is a better motherfucking place yeah your reputation precedes you that thing about oh how is he in the locker room mm -hmm. that shit is big Mm -hmm. Another Drew and I'm and listen. No, go ahead. Drew's a drop. Talk. The biggest thing that motherfuckers gotta focus on is not what you know, it's who you know. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing about any industry is building relationships. So like that's another thing is your reputation precedes you. Just be a good individual. I listen, I swear on everything. I didn't want this shout out for whatever you just said. I didn't know you was gonna do it, but I appreciate it. No, Am but I that's, reposting that's, it? Hell yeah. <laughs> As you should, but that's what I do, and that's that's because I appreciate it. And yeah. A lot of people do things selflessly. Like you just said, that's what it was. It was like, no, nah, I'm just doing it. But it should be appreciated. It should be acknowledged. Maybe not so always on camera, yeah. but I have the opportunity to do that. I'm going to take advantage of that. Because Appreciate then it, yeah. the people that's watching this, they find out, oh, all right, he's a dope artist, but he's a dope person. 100%. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So let's get into your artistry, though. What you got going on out here? Yes. As far as the brand goes, it's so it's huge because... As of recently, I've learned to be more grateful for the things that I have going on in my career. Let me give you an example. Okay. You know, you, you, you grow up with this mentality of I want to be a, uh, you know, for me, is I want to be a rapper. I want to blow up. I want to be the biggest thing ever. Mm -hmm. You look at people like Eminem and Drake and Lil Wayne, and you aspire to be something in that, in that in category. That right, right. And so as I'm working towards it on an independent level, we get the internet and we get all the resources that we have on an independent level that, it, that actually empower us to do the shit that we're doing. Long mm -hmm. story longer. No, go ahead. What, what's happening is, at this point, I've already empowered myself to, to, to release music on an independent level where I'm my own distributor, my own label. I'm doing my own production. Everything is in-house. got my own team. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing is this. The majority of the streams, and shout out to Philly, and shout out to Austin, and shout out to New York, isn't even coming from... The United States, the majority of the streams is coming from Germany I'm and glad Sweden and Morocco. I'm glad you said and that. And there's people. Listen, the world my is. Out, my printout is, is crazy. I'll be like, oh. The world is big. They care? Sammy, you know this. The world is big. It's, <laughs> it's way huge. bigger than whatever your city is that you're watching from. It's way bigger than that. No, and so I want to encourage entrepreneurs to look at that because once I started marketing my music towards towards a bigger audience i started realizing there's more people around the world that feel like i feel so to go back to the original question what is my artistry what am i doing this is what mm -hmm. i represent i feel like there's so many of us that feel lost that feel misunderstood that feel forgotten that feel broken alone and we don't have a voice to represent us in hip-hop and when you hear the music and you hear the lyricism and the stories that i tell that's exactly what it represents i'm not gonna cap in the music bro i'm not selling drugs i'm not shooting nobody i ain't never did no bed mm -hmm. so i'm not coming at you like that when you come at me like that on the record i respect it because that's that's what you live and mm -hmm. I, I could feel that through some artist music but i live my truth Absolutely. and through my truth there's kids all over the world that connect with it so right now i'm just focusing on giving them the music they love getting them the, the podcast my, my podcast just my thoughts mm -hmm. that is is on youtube and, and and just giving them the content that just gets them through their lives you know what i mean so with the just my thoughts podcast does that tie into your music is it separate is the message similar no so yeah that's that's a very good question <laughs> just my thoughts in short worm in short words mm -hmm. it's us really getting to the fuck shit Mm. Like when you hear the music, it's very serious. I'm coming from introspective places a lot of times. Right. I want to turn up other times. 
But when you get to the podcast, you get to let loose I, and get crazy. I felt like I was in a box. I felt like people was calling me a rapper and I was getting offended. Because I, <laughs> I feel like I do much more, bro. I could act. I could get on this media shit. Again, I didn't plan to come here today, but we're having a very good conversation. Absolutely. This is good content. Absolutely. This is what I wanted to show the world. So that's what just my thoughts was. It's just me showing them this right here. And that's cool. And I mean, all right. I'm a rapper, and like we said, I turn up. I get crazy in my music, mm. and I do some subtle things. I only got a couple songs that's subtle, but I got a few. But um, I was doing Glockaway Radio, and I was doing FM Radio simultaneously. Absolutely. So I'd be at FM on Tuesday or Wednesday because we switched days, and then I'd be at um, Internet Radio on Friday. As much as I love doing FM Radio, yeah, you can't. I had to talk like, like I, I, I you got something to yourself. Yeah, I liken it to talking to your mom or your grandma. Like you keep it, <laughs> yeah. you keep it funky it's with them, talk. but you ain't cussing. Like yeah. you can even keep it real. We can talk about street, but I'm, I can't like get it all out the I way I would. And that's how it felt with F film. And mind you, I love yeah. the platform, and I had a good time doing it. And you get certain um, perspectives and artists that you can't get at a Glock Aware Absolutely. necessarily right now. But I got free once it was just that. And this the internet. Once it was the internet and, and my my platform on the internet, it was just like okay. Yeah, because that's where you could be. Listen, and this is something crazy: is when you're a hundred percent authentic or you're a hundred percent fake on camera, the motherfuckers at home watching can feel that. Absolutely, you ain't fooling nobody when you out here on some fake shit. So a lot of times, censoring is cool. Not not nothing that is fake, but mm -mm. when when there's some things that need to be said, how they need to be said. Absolutely. And when you're not saying it the way you want to say it, the people get that energy, especially when they know you. And it's well, funny I've been following you for how many years? No, nah, I, I know you want to get you greasy. Exactly. And then it's like one of those things where you you know that there's a fine if somebody says something. But sometimes mm. when they say it, you can't even be mad because you know it's hard to say that without saying fuck. Yeah. Like it's, it's hard to, to yeah. get into that emotion without taking it there sometimes. Absolutely. But it's just it's Yo, how big are those fines? Because, see, I, I come from an internet age completely. 10, I don't 000? even know about the fines. 10,000. 10 grand? But the twist is. That's a car. People think it's every time that you curse, they have to catch it. Now, some stations and some streams, they're watching more than others because, you know, if you got every rapper in the world coming through, they definitely on you every five minutes to see if y'all cussing. Absolutely. Some, they don't see as much. So you might get a few off yeah. and get away with it. But when you don't have one of those major stations and they hit you with the 10 grand pup, it's over. That station act like you owe it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they can't really afford it. And that might be a lick for the station. So not even getting you to get into that policy, no, but, but that yeah, might be a little bit a, of money. It's a, yeah, Listen. it's a thing. So um, it's one of those things that you have to be conscious of. But at the same time, even though you understand it, you understand that not only are you holding yourself back, sometimes you hold other people back from getting their real truth yeah. out. So I always try to provide access to multiple platforms if you're worth it. If you're working yeah. hard, if you, you know what I mean? If yeah. you can hold a conversation, then I could open up more than just one space to you. Absolutely. You know what it's I mean? that idea that, uh, that, that eagles fly with eagles and pigeons will fly with pigeons. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you were just when, kicking it. When, once, when, once you look around your circle and you see that the motherfuckers that are around you are working towards something, that are building something, are, are doing shit on their own, mm -hmm. yeah, you could throw them a bone every now and then. It's when you see somebody trying to leech, trying to finesse, it's like, all right, we just toxic, we got to move them out the I, way. I, yeah, because it'll only hurt the people around me. That's it. That's it's all it's going to do. Yeah, it's an infection. That's a perfect way to put it. Absolutely. But, um,. Let the people know where they can find your music, where they can find your podcast once again and all of that, man. Let them know what you got out here. Absolutely. Thank you guys for listening. Listen, you can find me on any platform at Joey DeVille. That's J-O-E-Y-Y-D-E-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. That's two Y's. Joey DeVille with two Y's. So don't forget it. I'm on every platform. I'm doing a lot of stuff. Uh, if, you don't look for, if you don't look me up now, it's okay. I'm going to be legendary anyway. So you're going to see, see me that. regardless. So. Word, word, word. That's dope, man. Yeah. Definitely been good talking to you, Yeah, thank man. you for having we'll me on, Sammy. We'll talk in the near future, bro. I appreciate you. Absolutely, man.